Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new video card from Asus. This is the Asus GeForce GTX 780 DirectCU 2 OC. And if you're wondering why I have two of them, let's start off with a closer look at the retail box. Now this is uh, first and foremost the OC edition of this card. So it features the GeForce GTX 780 GPU that's based on the GK110 which is the same GPU that's used in the GTX Titan. Uh, and this one is overclocked right out of the box. So uh, the standard overclock spec for a standard 780 is going to be 863 megahertz with a 902 megahertz boost clock. This one, since it's the OC version, gives you an 889 megahertz standard clock and a 941 megahertz boost clock. It's also been uh, very over-designed, so to speak, by ASUS. They've done a lot of work with this card to make sure you can overclock it even beyond that. And I did spend some time with JJ on the phone before this video, so uh, he told me that they were able to get up to about 1.5 to 1.2 gigahertz core clock um, for w when they've been doing some testing with overclocking this. Your mileage may vary, of course, depending on which GPU you actually get, but you definitely have some overclocking headroom. He also told me that they were able to take the 3 gigabyte memory frame buffer uh, and crank that up to about 6.6 .6 gigahertz uh, GDDR5. Out of the box, it's going to run at the standard 6008 megahertz um, that uh, all 680s run at. But you do have the option, of course, by uh, way of ASUS's GPU tweak software, you can use that to overclock your video card uh, from the operating system, which is a very nice, smooth, and easy experience. And of course, you have GPU Boost 2.0 capabilities with this card, um, so you can set a temperature target, uh, and then you also have some other tweaks and tunings that you can do within that software as well. You also notice Windows 8 ready, and uh, ASUS has actually taken some special steps with this card to make sure that it is UEFI ready. So if you have a uh, current generation motherboard uh, with a UEFI, um, you could, this card actually ships with a compatible vBIOS so that when Windows 8 is doing the installation, um, it can actually set you up for the fastest possible boot times um, when it's going through the initial system startup. So a lot of work that's gone into that, as well as with the uh, cooling system here, the Direct CU2 unit, uh, which has direct copper contact. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at that when I get this out of the box, which I promise I will do eventually. But there's some more stuff here on the back to talk about. Um, the Direct CU2 unit is 20% cooler and vastly quieter. Not to, not to get uh, too specific there, but uh, it's definitely a quieter solution than the stock heatsink fan uh, that comes on a 780 uh, and then, uh, and then uh, also 20% cooler and that's going to give you more overclocking headroom. ASUS is also continuing their uh, theme or their, their practice of using all digital uh, componentry for the power delivery, so a digital uh, Digi Plus VRM and Super Alloy Power. Uh, the chokes, for example, in this card are 45 amps. That's versus the uh, uh, chokes and inductors, I should say, versus the 35 amps uh, chokes and inductors that are used in the reference design. So again, that's just an example of ASUS over-designing the card to make sure that you have all the power you need for your overclocking pleasure. And uh, this does have a six-phase power design, um, which minimizes power noise by 30% and enhances power efficiency by 15%. Um, it also widens the voltage modulation range. And you do have voltage uh, contact points on this card as well, which you can use to overclock and actually also increase the voltage. But that's VGA Hotwire. We're going to come back to that. Uh, here's a quick look at the GPU tweak software. If you guys haven't checked it out before, there's a, a little look at it. Real-time and intuitive graphics timing, detailed specs, and actual card status with GPU-Z. Um, you also get a monitoring widget, so you can monitor the uh, the sound. I'm I'm sorry. So you can monitor <laughs> you can monitor the card's uh, frequencies that it's running at, as well as temperature. Temperature is the word I was looking for there. Uh, and that's about it for the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, inside and accessories. Inside the retail box, we have accessories, of course. Uh, this is a little packet of information that you get from ASUS. So this is going to have your uh, drivers, uh, chances are you're going to be able to download a more updated uh, NVIDIA driver. So head over to the ASUS website or the NVIDIA website to download the latest version of that. You do get a copy of the manual on here, as well as the VGA Tweak software, uh, which you can also download from the ASUS website, if, if that's your thing. Uh, apart from that, we get a nice little assortment of accessories in here. Uh, first off, we have a power adapter. So this is going to take a couple six-pin PCI Express or PEG connectors, PCI Express graphic connectors, and uh, combine them together into a single eight-pin uh, to provide some, uh, enough power for the card. Uh, in case you're wondering, ASUS is recommending a minimum 600 watt power supply for your entire system and this card. I generally recommend going a bit beyond that because it's always good to have some 
headroom in case you add hardware in the future, uh, particularly if you're going to be overclocking. But uh, you also get a DVI to HDMI adapter, which uh, may come in handy if you're connecting up HDMI uh, monitors to this, for example, or perhaps a television. Uh, you also get an SLI bridge, so it's a flexible kind, so you can have a variety of spacings between your cards if you're going for a two-way SLI configuration. Uh, you also have an LN2 MOS heatsink, so um, if you are going to be choosing this card for uh, actually removing the direct CO2 cooler and going with, uh, say, a water block for water cooling, or if you're going to go even beyond that and use LN2 or something like that, uh, you do still want to ha have a heat sink on your power delivery components. Um, so this is going to allow you to pop this on um, when you remove the uh, default cooling configuration from the card. And uh, this will allow for some exotic cooling configurations. And it looks like that's all for accessories. Next is the card. So I'm going to start off with here uh, is actually a comparison. So uh, on my right, your left, I have the GeForce GTX 780 Direct CU2 OC from ASUS. And then I also have the reference design uh, GTX 780 from NVIDIA, which by its own right is a fantastic card. Now what ASUS has done is they've taken this card as sort of a baseline and they've developed this card. And whenever you're talking about a manufacturer specifically designed custom card, there's a few different things that they can work on. One is going to be the cooling solution. Uh, and then next, this is going to be the PCB layout right there. So sometimes you'll have cards that will take the reference PCB layout and they'll add their own cooling solution. And then sometimes you'll have cards where they actually fully redesign the PCB, change out the components, change the layout here, as well as uh, what's called the power planes, depending on the number of layers in the PCB. And that is what ASUS has done. This is a fully uh, custom designed GTX 780, uh, both the PCB as well as the cooling solution itself. And uh, ASUS was the first uh, video card manufacturer to come out with a uh, fully custom designed GTX 780. So they do get the uh, bragging rights for that one. Um, so when you're looking at these, first off, when we're talking about the PCB. Uh, this is a 10 layer PCB that ASUS has designed. Uh, and as you can see, it's wider than the stock PCB from the stock 780. Uh, and then of course, they've also added additional layers to the PCB itself. And uh, then of course, they've uh, also developed this quite nice and effective cooling uh, aftermarket cooler. Um, now, one thing in particular that they'd spent a lot of time designing is this heat pipe right here. This is a 10 millimeter heat pipe. Uh, this actually has a couple curves in it, which uh, from my understanding is quite difficult to do from an engineering perspective. Uh, JJ told me that they were working on this particular heat pipe for about a year just to get it uh, set up properly so that they could manufacture it consistently. Um, but they have basically given uh, an a incredible amount of cooling just by uh, adding that heat pipe along with the other four heat pipes that are over on this side. So you get a total of uh, five heat pipes in total and uh, they all do uh, curve around and make direct contact with the GPU, um, right, as you can sort of see underneath that area right there. You can never actually see the GPU on these cards, but it is uh, behind this plate. Uh, speaking of this plate, this is also a full back plate for the card, which I always find to be nice because, um, generally speaking, as nice as this side of the card might look when you actually have the card installed in most computers, what you're actually going to be looking at is this side of the card. So you will see that DirectCU2 logo. You will see uh, the ASUS DirectCU2 um, on the back plate. And you will get a nice view of that back plate, uh, which gives it a much cleaner look. And also provides some functionality as well, since it does make contact with uh, certain points along the back of the PCB there to provide a bit of extra cooling. And they've also put some uh, hex cutouts uh, there also to allow for some airflow behind the back plate. So it's protecting the card and it's also providing some additional cooling. Um, also for the DirectCU2 cooler that ASUS has designed, um, one thing that they always try to do is make sure that you can remove it uh, if necessary. And there's reasons you might want to do that if you're going to pop it off so you can go with, uh, say, a water block or something like that, which there are custom design ones made specifically for this ASUS version of the 780. Um, but then you also have, uh, let's say you have used this card for a year or so and it's gotten a bit uh, muddled up with dirt. You can use those, simply remove these four screws. You can pop off where it makes contact with the card right there at the bottom, and it just makes it a lot easier to clean out the fins, for example, which uh, we'll move on to next. You see all of those aluminum fins in there, and by sort of widening the height of the card, uh, ASUS has provided uh, a lot more space there for their fin array. Another thing you might notice with this card is it is a two-slot design, 
as uh, compared to the uh, the 680, for example, which is a three-slot design. Asus made that decision uh, for a few different reasons, but uh, this it does allow the card to fit uh, into a uh, lower profile. Um, you can, for example, go for a three- or four-way uh, SLI configuration with this card much more easily with the two-slot two design. Uh, and by widening the uh, size of the cooler, they've uh, still maintained their cooling efficiency, uh, again, with a 20% uh, cooler uh, designed than the reference uh, from NVIDIA. Uh, the fans are also doing uh, a fine job of uh, helping out with that as well. There's actually two different types of fans you might notice. This one over here is kind of the special one. Uh, this is a Cooltech fan and uh, this is designed specifically to have a couple different functions. So you'll notice that the inside it's got more of a blower style design whereas on the outside you see more of the standard fans, uh, fan fins. Uh, as you might see, say for example, in this fan over there. Um, that's uh, providing some additional channeled air uh, horizontally as well as vertically, um, so that it's pushing air not only down over the fins this way, but it's also pushing air out this way and this way. The reason that they didn't do both of those fans in that configuration is simply because having two of these Cooltech fans would, pr would uh, create some turbulence in the area in between them, and they found that uh, by going with one rather than both, uh, they were actually able to get better cooling. Apart from that, uh, just design-wise, they do have a very substantial uh, black bracket going up the side of the card right there. That's going to help provide some additional sturdiness to the card, particularly um, when you consider that it actually wraps around here and makes contact with this part of the PCI Express bracket, and uh, that is where it's going to have a lot of support from the chassis itself, so that's uh, going to help to minimize the droopage that you might see, particularly comes into uh, play with uh, heavier cards like this one. You, of course, get all of the features that you would come to expect with the GTX 780, such as two-way, three-way, and four-way SLI support via the SLI figure, fingers right there. PCI Express Gen 3, um, fully compatible. It's also backwards compatible with PCI Express Gen 2. You'll see a drop-off of a few percentage points when it comes to the benchmark numbers if you're running this on a PCI Express Gen 2 or 2.1 bus. So don't worry, you can still uh, upgrade if you're on an older platform, but you will get a bit better performance and a bit better thr throughput if you connect this to a PCI Express Gen 3 bus. Uh, I did want to point out down at this end, uh, these are the uh, voltage connection points. So VGA Hotwire is a feature that uh, ASUS has had for some time, and uh, voltage is sort of a, a tricky element um, to discuss when it comes to video cards. Voltage can allow for higher overclocks, but it's also something that can lead to a bit more danger when it comes to uh, overclocking. Um, generally speaking, if you can overclock without applying more voltage, you'll be safe. Applying more voltage can, again, uh, lead to some more danger, uh, so it's recommended more so for professionals. To that end, uh, the VGA hotwire points right there, you will notice, are, are available. However, they're, they're not quite as accessible as they would be, um, say, if you had uh, some voltage read points uh, plugins or something like that. So it's right there. You can use it to go beyond some of the voltage limitations that NVIDIA has set for this card, uh, but again, Bear in mind that uh, that's sort of an at-your-own-risk proposition, and, uh, but it, it uh, is nice to have that there because I know there's some folks who are going to be taking these cards, pushing them to their limits, and seeing what uh, the design elements that ASUS has done uh, can allow, when it's, uh, especially when you're free from those uh, voltage limitations. Uh, let's close up with a look at the back of the card here uh, for your video outs, which you have four of. Uh, you can support uh, three monitor surround, uh, NVIDIA surround, uh, with this single card. You can actually connect up all four of these and run four monitors. You can use three of them for 3D gaming, and then you can use the fourth for a companion display. You've got two dual link DVI connection points right there. Bear in mind that the top one is DVI-D, that's digital only, so you cannot use it for a DVI to VGA connector. Um, the bottom one is DVI as uh, digital as well as analog, so you can use that if you're going to use one of those DVI to VGA adapters. If you have an older monitor you're connecting to, you've also got HDMI 1.4 and DisplayPort 1.2. Now here's a really quick uh, installed demo uh, for you guys just to show you uh, one last feature of the card. So here's the uh, Asus GeForce GTX 780 DirectX U2 OC currently installed in our Newegg TV testbed, uh, which also happens to feature an Asus Rampage 4 formula motherboard. So the color scheme is matching up quite nicely. Uh, but there are a couple LEDs on this card there towards the bottom. So let me spin around so you can see it. So these are your diagnostic uh, PCI Express power LEDs. So you'll notice uh, both LEDs currently lit green because our power supply is connected properly and the power supply is turned on, although the system is not turned on. If, for example, you did not have one of these connected or it wasn't plugged in all the way or it wasn't getting the proper amount of power from your power supply, that LED turns red. 
So um, if you ever get your system set up and happen to forget your PCI Express power connectors, which maybe has happened to me once or twice, it's a really easy indication of that. But also, uh, if your power supply is having problems or something along those lines, uh, you can also double check those right there. Apart from that, it uh, doesn't look like there's any additional uh, light up LEDs on the card itself, but uh, just to double check and also give you guys a demo, I'm going to go ahead and power on. So uh, we've now powered the card up. Let me spin it this way so you guys can get a better look. And so there's the fan spinning up. And if you're hearing fan noise, that's actually probably from our, our CPU cooler over here. The, uh, I can confirm that I hear absolutely no noise coming from uh, this video card itself. So here's a quick, quick demonstration of the GeForce GTX 780 DirectCU 2 OC in action. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. There's a couple final closing points I wanted to make, just a couple things I might have left out. When I was talking about the fans, I did also want to point out that these fans have a sealed internal dust-proof hub. So basically the fans are essentially dust-proof, apart from the blades, of course, uh, which definitely will help increase their longevity. Also, uh, for those folks who are purchasing this card and are interested in a very quiet uh, computing or gaming experience, uh, there's an additional vBIOS that's available uh, on the ASUS support website. You can download that load it up on this card and basically that will uh, introduce a fan profile that is pretty much dead silent. So it will actually lower the spinning speed of the fans, uh, which are already very quiet as is, but uh, for folks who are, who are looking for the quietest possible experience, uh, that is also available from ASUS. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, we've been taking a closer look at the ASUS GeForce GTX 780 DirectCU 2 OC. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, you can go ahead and click the like button right down there. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more tech videos. We'll see you all next time.